Hi there, um, welcome to my channel. I have a collections video today. I'm gonna show you my tea collection. Some of you know, um, that watch my channel know that I love wax candles and tarts, I love that. And I also love nail polish. But another thing that I love to collect is tea. I've been on a real big tea kick lately and I filled up a drawer in my kitchen and I would love to share it with you. And also I'd love to hear what teas you like. So please leave that down below. So I'm gonna take you into the kitchen. I've been undecorating my Christmas tree today. Um, so taking a break and want to share with you my collection. But um, yeah, get ready. I'm gonna take you into the kitchen. Okay, we're in my kitchen and this is my oven straight ahead and my microwave set at the top. So all the way at the bottom, I have these two built-in drawers. This top one has like towels and placemats and stuff. It is a mess, it needs some organizing. But this bottom one down here is my favorite. This is my tea drawer and I'm not showing this to brag or, you know, look at me, I've got all these teas. I've just really been into tea lately and I'm so excited and I just want to share with you. So, a um, lot of it has been gifted or in swaps and some of it has been purchased by me. So, I'll just quickly go through and show you what I have, you know, just so you know. This here is some Lipton Vanilla Caramel Truffle tea bags. They're in the triangular shape there. These are really nice. These were gifted to me. Then I've got some stash tea. I got the Vanilla Nut Cream tea and the Herbal Sampler pack here. And then I got some Yogi tea, the Green Tea Blueberry Slim Life. I got Celestial Seasons season seasoning sorry cinnamon apple spice this is a new box haven't opened it yet this here is well this is um hot chocolate here that i have in the drawer I need to use that up this winter then i've got two boxes of the celestial seasonings raspberry zinger this one is open and then i have a new box right here i've got a new box of lipton green tea cranberry pomegranate right there this one is a new one that I picked up after Christmas. This is Bigelow. I've never had Bigelow before. And this is an eggnoggin. And it's an exceptional winter tea. And then I got Celestial Seasonings Lemon Zinger. This is a new one here. This here is tea. It's for Texas. I picked this up at my local grocery store, H-E-B. And this is in Peaches and Flowers. It's just an envelope. It had one ounce in here. I'm about halfway through, I think. Up here at front, I have Tiavana. This one here is um, Golden Monkey. And I bought this one on the recommendation from the girl in the shop. She said to add this to um, other teas and it makes it um, more pronounced or pop or whatever. So I got that. Then I have this one here, which is a combination. It's Blueberry Bliss and Pineapple Kona Pop. I love that one, especially iced. This tin here is in Youthberry, another one that I enjoy iced during the spring and summer. Then I have these two packs here. This one is the Orange Chocolate Sweet Spice. And this one is White Chocolate Peppermint. Love that. Then... I got from my Secret Santa at school, I got this, oh, excuse me, is it Tazzo? This is Calm Chamomile tea bags. Haven't tried it yet. And then this one is another Tazzo. It's in peachy green. So I got those two to try. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to get back in here. Um, this one here I picked up. It's a 310. Uh, Republic of Tea. Oops, and it just fell off. Um, there's three little tins, and each tin has 12 tea bags. This is Dream by the Fire. This is Comfort and Joy. And the one on the bottom is the Holiday Spiced Plum. So I've tried two of those, and I like them. This one was a gift. This is Kiwi Strawberry Tea. 
It's tea bags. I haven't tried that yet. This one here is a, also another tea. Serenity's Garden Orange Pico Tea. And it's five tea bags. Those are gifts from my students. This is some German rock sugar from um, Tiavana. This is um, Stevia Leaf. Um, I haven't used this yet, but I need to because it's getting old, I think, and I need to use that up to put in my teas. This is another Bigelow. I got it at the same time. I got that eggnog one. This is in Ginger Snappish. It's a snappy ginger herb tea. So I thought with lemon, I thought that would be great to try. I think I'm going to save those two for um, next winter. I got some more stash tea here. Got the chocolate hazelnut tea, and I've been into that one. And the raspberry and white tea, I've been into that one. I have my K cup here for my K cup. Here's another Republic of Tea. This is the red tea and caramel apple. I absolutely love this one. Um, you can go online and order a catalog from the Republic of Tea, and they sent me um, a sample of this one with a tea magazine or catalog. And I loved it. I had to go out and buy some of that. Here's another Republic of Tea. This is in the Ginger Peach. and I That one's open, and then I have one that is not open, so I have two of those. This one here was a gift. This is from Harvest Herb Tea. It's um, Zinna Gypsy Tea Pumpkin Spice, so I haven't tried that one yet. This is uh, um, Headley's The Rouge um, ro Roybus Tea. I haven't tried this one. This one was a gift too. And I think there are, yeah, there are sachets in here, 40 sachets in that tea. Then I have some teas here. This is from um, Sandy's Market. It was an organic farmer's market place. And they had teas there. And I got a bag of strawberry cream. This one is in peach. And this one is in raspberry. Then I have a bunch of just loose tea bags that I've gotten in, you know, cards, swaps, and then I also have a whole baggie here too as well, a whole bunch of different ones to try. So, oh, and then I have two that won't fit in here. They're in my um, pantry. This is the strawberry cream. It's um, it's from the same place as these, the Sandy's Market. It changed name and it's now. George's Market, and now it is absolutely closed. So um, I don't know where I can get this, but I love this. This is so good. And then I have the sour apple fruit tea, which I absolutely adore. It's so good, yummy. So, so that is my tea drawer. Everything fits in there nicely. I'm outgrowing it because <laughs> I keep adding more or people give me teas because they know that I'm enjoying it now. But, um, for sweeteners in my tea, I use this raw sugar. I got this at Whole Foods, and I absolutely love it. I use a scoop or two, depending on the tea, and that's what I use to sweeten my tea. Um, if I'm in a pinch, I'll use sweet and low, but for the most part, I like to use the raw sugar. Um, let me show you some teas that I used up that I think that are really good. This is another Celestial Seasonings Tea. This is in the Sugar Cookie Sleigh Ride. I used that up over the holiday. It was really good. It was in tea bag form. And then also used up Celestial Seasonings Peppermint Tea. I like that one too. This one was really good. I would have this in the evening and I really liked it. Um, this is another raw cane sugar that I used from Whole Foods. It's just a different brand, but the same thing. And you went through that. Then I went through two bags of Tea of Honesty. This was the Spiced Apple Cider. This was so good. I really liked it. And then this one was, it's an oolong tea. It's a pumpkin spice brulee. This one was also very good. Loved it, loved it. So I would recommend those from Tiavana. Um, you know, I've been on the lookout for different places to buy tea. You know, there's Tiavana that you can go and we have one in our mall that you can get the Celestial Seasonings and the Bigelow you can get at the grocery stores. 
I think the stash you can also get there in the Lipton's. So there are places in the um, Republic of Tea. So there's places that you can pick up your different tea, but I wanted more loose leaf teas. And the only place around me is Tea of Honor. So I went online and I looked and I found David's Tea. David's Tea is nowhere near me. It's up um, a lot of stores in Canada and um, on the East Coast. There may be a few on the West Coast, I'm not sure, but that's where I saw them mostly was on the East Coast. And I'm all the way down here in Texas, so it's a far, far away for me to get there. But I picked this up right before Christmas, and I just now opened it. It is the 2013 Teas of the Month. Every month at David's Tea, they have a Tea of the Month. Sorry about that. My camera just shut off. Every month, David's Tea has a Tea of the Month that they special um, you know, spotlight, and this is all of the teas that they had last year, and then the new one. So, they have, this is the organic super ginger, I think my box is upside down. So, they have the organic super ginger. This one here is the red velvet cake. This is the cocoa lemon tie. This is the Chai Bollywood, or Bollywood Chai. The Organic Queen of Tarts. This one is Guava Cadabra. I don't know if I'm saying that right. That's new to me. Um, Lemonade Rose. Kokomo Green. Mango Lassie. Um, Current Affair. This one is chocolate chili chai. And this is the one for the January 2014. This is chai. Oh, do I have that right? Yeah, chai on life. The tens have it both in English and in French, so I'm making sure I'm reading the right one. But anyway, if you're into teas and you would um, like to try some loose, loose leaf tea, I have not tried any of these yet. So, um,. I'll let you know later on if I like them or not, but um, I opened them up, sniffed them, they all smell great, and um, I just can't wait to dig in and have a cup of tea. I don't think I can do this one-handed. Nope, I can't open it, but they, they are so good. So check out David's Tea if you haven't already, or go by their store if you live close to one. You are so lucky if you do. But anyway, that is, and this won't fit in my drawer. I'm going to have to house it somewhere else. But anyway, that is my tea collection. Let me know um, if you are a tea drinker down below and what is one of your favorite teas to drink. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day where you are, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye.